Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we got our very large box. And so this came from a company called FlexiSpot. And what's inside the box is a desk size Pro V9U. So it looks like a bicycle of sort that's for your desk. And that looks very interesting so let's open it up and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so as you can see, the size of the box is very, very large. So it looks like there's two strap bands that need to come off. So there's a phone number here on the box just in case you need any kind of customer service. Alright, so I cut the tape around it and we should be able to just lift it off here. And that's what we're greeted with. Alright, so here we can see that there's some pretty large foam pieces and bike is inside of there. I can see the pedal right there. So these foam pads just come out. And now we can see the whole bike. And as we can see here guys, the whole bike is already assembled and all we gotta do is pull it out. All right, so the bike is out and it looks like we still have some other package in here. And that's it for the box. So it does have these very heavy duty legs here that should just pop out, yes. And there's a pin that clicks in right there as you saw that, so they're not gonna move after it clicks in. And if you wanna put it back in, you gotta push that pin and then push it back. Alright, so we got it up. Let's go ahead and pull these out. And it looks like we got some silica packs that fell out. Alright guys, and look at that bike. That's very nice. So it looks like we have the manual right here. And somehow it got stuck under the brand sticker there. Alright, so we cut that loose. So we did take our legs out. So here we need to lift the pedals. So I'm guessing that's just like this. There we go. And now this side, same way. And that's it. So here's the little baggie that it came with. And here's all the items in there. So it looks like we have a pretty large Allen key here. We also have two batteries. That's probably for the controller part. So this is also something. And we have, looks like, pedal covers. So step three here is the cup holder. So this looks like cup holder mat. And that goes up here. But I also see that it looks like the battery is going here first. Okay, yes they do. So let's go ahead and put those in first. Alright, so the batteries go like that. Looks like something came on here. Alright, so let's put this little cover back on. And we'll put this little cup holder mount. And that's pretty cool that they have a little cup holder here so you can, you know, have, keep a drink there if you wanted to. Or whatever other items you want to put there. Alright, so step four is putting on the rubber pedal covers. And so this should be pretty easy, just slide them over. Just like that. And now you have a nice little area for your foot. So I guess if you did want to leave it like this, you could have a little more grip, like if you were going to use shoes. All right, so we're done with that. So here it tells us where to put the batteries, which we did already, and it tells you a little bit more about the screen and what it does. So scan here will automatically change the readout every five seconds to the different measuring units here. So here we have time you exercised, the speed at which you're exercising, the distance you went, the calories you burnt, and the total distance you exercised. I guess that's the odometer, kind of like lifetime. And also we have the RPM of the wheel. And here you can see all the different settings that we went through. So if you click this button in the middle, you can change it accordingly to what you want to see. So it starts with like this, scan. So it goes through all of them every five seconds. And if you click on it, you just head to the next one. So very easy to use, guys. So the next part is our magnetic resistance adjustment. So that's the knob that's right on top beside the LCD screen. And that's right here. So if you didn't want any resistance, you would go here. But if you want to start having resistance, you would click according to how much resistance you want. So this is a pretty large dial here and very easy to turn and very self-explanatory of how to use it. So the next thing we'll be looking at is the seat and that is adjustable and you definitely want to adjust it to your height. So here it kind of tells you so your legs are not too straight or too bent. 
All right, so here we are at the seat, and under here we have a lever. And all you got to do is push on this lever. And as you saw there, the seat goes straight up. So this thing can get very, very tall. And so in order for this to go down, you're going to have to put your weight into it. Or while you're sitting on it, once you press this lever, it'll compress down. So that's pretty much the whole thing for the manual. What this Allen key here is for is, is for those legs that we looked at earlier where you have to push the pin in in order them to fold. So that's what they include this for. And so there's a little bit more information of, you know, the bike and things like that. And here also we have a little thank you card from FlexiSpot where you can go check out their reviews and leave one. And also a little referral link there. If you refer a friend, they'll save 15 bucks and you'll get $10 cash also. Pretty cool. All right guys, so let's take a closer look at this bike here. So it's got a very nice design. Looks pretty modern and it's all white. So here we have a hole right through the middle and this is kind of like a design aspect here. It looks very nice. Kind of gives it a modern look. So let's start with the chair here. So it's like a rubber that's soft, but it's not too soft. It's got a little bit of firmness to it, but it's definitely got a very large area to sit on, so that should be pretty comfortable. So underneath the chair here, we have a nice finish that's white here. Looks very attractive. And this piece here is metal, and it's also white. So as we go down to the body here, all of this is hard plastic, but it looks very durable and strong. Nice large knob here, easy to turn. Your display, your cup holder. So here on the side we have the pedal and it's got these nice covers here with the logo here on the side and then our little pedals here. And these turn really nice and smooth with no noise whatsoever, silent. So as we come down we see the legs here and they are heavy duty metal. So this bike should not have any kind of flex whatsoever side to side. All the legs go out kind of wide and these here on the back they kind of go on a staggered angle which makes it look really cool. And if we go all the way down we can see the coasters here and they got a little nice touch here of white and black accents. And also guys the coasters are large enough where if you're on carpet and this is more of a low pile but still has pretty good pile it still rolls really easy on it. Alright, so Mila is going to demonstrate the bike for us here. So the seat is all the way down right now. And as you can see guys, that it's as simple as getting on it and start pedaling. So this is definitely for adjustable desks only. I'm going to make an A+, plus. see if the bike moves. Alright, so she's got it all the way to the hardest. How hard is it to pedal, Mila? It's hard. It's like you're climbing a mountain. It's like you're climbing a mountain, so it definitely is giving you resistance there for exercise. Try the chair, see how that works. Oh, uh, okay. See if that's more comfortable. Because your legs might have been too cramped. Yeah, that's a lot more comfortable. A lot better? Uh -huh. So yeah, you definitely would need to adjust the chair if you wanted perfect. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so we put it together and we tried it out, but I think what we're going to need is a standing desk. So let's go ahead and move this thing to another desk so we can see a little better of what it was intended for. All right, so we got the exercise bike in its natural habitat, which is with a standing desk made to be used with is one of these desks here. So the desk is able to go up and down, and that's what's going to give us the clearance for our legs to go under. So Mila wasn't available for this part, but Marcus is going to help me out. What's up, Marcus? Hi. What do you think about this bike? It's really good. I have tried it. All right, so are you ready to try this thing out behind a standing desk? Yes. And before we do that, we actually figured out something pretty interesting about this bike. Is when you sit on it, it actually locks the wheels on the bottom. Yeah, so when you're riding the bike, it doesn't move around at all. Like when you're even on hard surfaces like hardwood floors. Alright Marcus, how about you jump on that thing and we'll demonstrate it. Alright, so Marcus is sitting on it and the way I think it works is that whenever you put pressure right here down, it does something to lock it up. So like right now, if I try to move them, like it doesn't want to go. Like it will go if you force it, but it locks in really well. So it doesn't move around when you pedal. So that's a really cool little feature if you're wondering how stable it is. All right, Marcus, let's get this thing up. So we're going to raise the table a bit here. Maybe a little too high for Marcus. We'll see in a second. So we got the table pretty high. Tell me when it's comfortable. I think you need to go down some, don't you? So this is something what it would look like if you had a standing table. So you just do your work while you were getting exercise. So also guys, as you can see, it doesn't take up too much room either as a portable exercise machine. So here's another look from the 
side here. So Marcus, what do you think about it so far? So I spend a lot of time behind this desk editing and making videos and things like that. So it's nice to have something that I can jump on and get a little exercise while I'm doing that. And pedaling is a great way to get a good exercise because it's a pretty involved cardio. Alright guys, so I'll give this thing a big thumbs up. It's definitely a very unique and interesting product. And if you don't have a standing desk, they actually have another option where it has a built-in desk into the bike itself, which is really neat. And also you can choose white or black depending on what will match better for your room. So yeah guys, as you can see, you can use this bike pretty much anywhere you want. You can use it in an office, do your work, whatever, school, things like that. So it's pretty much good for anybody that needs some exercise and doesn't have the time to get out. If you want to pick up a bike like this, I'll leave some links in the description. Check that out. And if you want to see more videos like this and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.